Good morning students of class 10. Yeah, welcome back to the e classes now. We are doing history. Today's date is 14th of Ju July. We have reached 7.2 Heroes of the Past Time from Indochina, the chapter Indochina, Nationalist Movement in Indochina. Heroes of the Past Time 7.2. There are altogether five points. Let's go through one by one. Number one, in 1913, the nationalist, the nationalist, or you can say the freedom fighter, the nationalist Pan Bai Cha, which we have already learned about Pan Bai Cha, the nationalist Pan Bai Cha wrote a play. He wrote a play. He was also a writer, and he was a dramatist or a play writer. So Pan Bai Cha wrote a play based on the lives of the Trung sisters. So the play was based on the lives of the Trung sisters. Who were these Trung sisters? Who had fought against Chinese domination in 39 to 43 BC? So during this period, these Trung sisters, they fought against Chinese dominations in Vietnam. Number two, in this play, in the novel or in the, dra in the, in the playbook, in this play, he showed Pan Bai Shou, Pan Bai Chao. He showed these sisters, Trung sisters, as patriots. Patriots means the person who really loves his country and ready to die for his country. So, these two sisters as patriots fighting to save Vietnamese nation from the Chinese. These two sisters, they fought with the Chinese in order to save Vietnamese nation from there, from Chinese domination. So these two sisters, they were idealized and glorified. They were praised and idealized and they were shown in the drama or in the paintings. They were even shown in the plays and novels representing them, the indomitable. They were not dominated. They could not be dominated, you can say that. Representing these two sisters as indomitable will. They have a very strong will and patriotism of the Vietnamese. So these two sisters were an example. And Pan Bai Chao took these two sisters' lives and uh, wrote a play or a wrote a novel taking their example from Trung sisters about their patriotism and about their indomitable will. These two sisters gathered a force of what happened. Now these two sisters, let's talk about a little bit about these two sisters. These two sisters gathered a force, a soldier, volunteers of 30,000 forces resisted and stopped the Chinese for two years. They resisted Chinese for two years. When finally defeated, naturally they could not carry on. So they were defeated by, finally when they were defeated, they committed suicide. These two Trung sisters, they committed suicide. Why? Because instead they did not want to surrender to the enemy. That's why they committed suicide. So commit, they committed suicide instead of surrendering to the enemy. Who were the enemies? The Chinese were the enemies. They did not want to surrender. It, they thought that it is better to die than to surrender. So that's why they committed suicide, these Trung sisters. And these Trung sisters became an uh, ideal or they became the inspiration to the Vietnamese nationalist. So this novel created a widespread sentiments about uh, na nation. There were other women, not only these Trung sisters, but there were other women also, women patriots, who organized a large army and resisted Chinese rule previously also. So these two uh, sisters, along with them, there were other women patriots who gathered the army or the force and resisted Chinese rule. They sacrificed their lives for the honor of the country. They sacrificed their life for the honor of the country or for the country, you can say for the respect, honor means respect, respect for the country. These women inspire people to action. These women inspire 
the Vietnamese people to action. That's why the Vietnamese, each women, children, old, young, all participated in the nationalist movement in Indochina. So in our next class, we'll talk about that next 7.3, women as warriors. We'll talk about women as warriors. Actually, the women had to work in the house, but here, house or in the field or farm. But here, at this time, at this moment, when the struggle was going on, women picked up guns along with uh, their work. Women as warriors, how they participated in this struggle, we'll talk about that. Warriors means fighters, women as fighters. Let's talk about in our next class. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for your watching. Keep on watching. And uh, not only watching, you go through the story or the subtitle wise every day so that it will be more clear. Reading has to be done at home. So don't waste your time. Be wise enough to use your time wisely. So that's all for today. We'll meet in the next class and continue 7.3. Women as warriors. So thank you very much for watching.